so we just finished this morning's edit session at Good Earth. Finished yesterday's vlog, so I'll upload that tonight. And now we're gonna head home to get some breakfast. And then maybe, just maybe, we might head out on the bike. We'll see. Always be strawberrying. So John has suggested that we go, he's going to show me a, a pretty flat route, right? I believe it is. Right, okay. And we're going to, we're, <laughs> I wasn't going to ride, but now we are going to ride. And as long as it's flat, then I'm just going to spin my legs out and should be good. Should be good recovery. But um, yeah, it's the hottest part of the day. It is the hottest part of the day. Let's go. being very mindful of my pedal stroke making sure every single pedal stroke has good form trying to turn perfect circles pedaling with intention because as soon as I start to lose focus just uh, my legs don't feel so good <laughs> I need to be pedaling with intention right now as I should be always but it takes a lot of focus but I know at the moment the foc <laughs> I'm focusing because it's painful if I don't pedal with intention in perfect circles, stretch that leg out with form. So not resist it when a cyclist passes you to catch on. I can't do it. I can't not catch up to another cyclist when they pass me. I'm not, especially here in California, I'm not used to the amount of cyclists on mass. And there's no way that I'm gonna let two fit looking humans pass me and not want to catch up to them. So that is what we're doing. Even though we shouldn't be, and I'm doing that thing that I said about the other day, my mind getting ahead of my body. My, my body, I should be spinning my legs and just concentrating on my pedal stroke doing that and instead my excitable puppy mind is catching on to these guys. As I'm gonna pull a turn, we come up to the hump. And just as I can't let a cyclist pass me without catching on, I also can't go over a hump without giving it some gas. <laughs> and so I gave it some gas. But as I go past, I think the idea in my head is not the idea they have in their head. And I'm, I'm giving it a little bit of gas now, but they're not, they're not, they don't wanna play. They don't wanna catch on. They, were, they seemed lovely and as I went past, she shouted, there he goes, in an American accent. But uh, yeah, that kind of told me that, yeah, they didn't, they didn't want to chase me. <laughs> and we weren't going to be best friends. Oh well, I'll go for the segment anyway. <laughs> so might as well use my lead out to give it a bit of gas up this hump. It would be a waste otherwise. <laughs> this heavily contested Strava hump. Something I noticed here is that the level of fitness of the average commuter is so incredibly high <laughs> compared to that of the, of the UK. 
like there's people in the TT position <laughs> just on their way to work with like aero helmets on and stuff. And it's just, it's normal to be in the TT position with an aero helmet on the commute. <laughs> I, I see it every single day. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine that in the UK? That it just would not happen. And it's just how the terrain and the weather makes it normal. It's normal to just be a fit human out on your bike because the weather and terrain are conducive to that being the case, <laughs> which unfortunately in the UK, it is not. You know, you have to try. There are no excuses here in California not to be fit as fuck and out here enjoying the bike, getting it done, just like these guys are doing. It wasn't a good idea, was it? Because I know I'm gonna be paying for this in my leg the next day.